In America, Dokken has gone out on tour with groups like Dio and Twisted Sister. You know, for your forthcoming European tour, you've chosen to support Accept, which I think has surprised quite a few people. Isn't there a chance they're going to be a bit too heavy for you, that their audience isn't going to be your audience? You're going to throw things at us? <laughs> <laughs> Talking about music, really. Well, you'll, you'll have to hear the set that we're going to play with them, because we're playing a very heavy, high-energy set. So have you changed the set from the one you were playing in America recently? Yeah. 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 We're not playing any of our hits. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're no, just we're playing, playing the all the, the, heaviest, the heaviest stuff off the records, you know, because there isn't that much radio over here, so there isn't a need to right. play certain songs where we have a pressure right. uh, to play just got lucky or into the fire uh, over there, we're here, it doesn't matter. It's yeah, we're just we going to play the songs that go over best live. It's no. good for us, we'd rather do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, can we come on Europe more often? <laughs> if you wish to, please do. This is your first tour of England, but it isn't, it isn't the first tour of Europe that Dokken have done. You've played how many times well, in we Europe? Well, we played Germany. And we and played, that's, that's it, just Germany? Yeah, well, uh, a city couple... in Denmark. <laughs> oh, we should yeah, mention well, we it. We played Holland, we played Benelux countries, we've never right. played France, or Spain. England before, and actually, I wouldn't know if you'd call it a tour. I mean, I guess you could, but it was actually smaller it's venues, kind of really small years, venues. It? Yeah, yeah, it was a long time ago. Um, Chef wasn't even in the band. Yeah, who was playing bass with you at that point? Juan Crucier. Who's now in Rat, of course. Yeah. 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 So basically, we're going to be seeing the heavier side of Docker on this European tour. Yeah. Yeah. Is that going to be true in terms of image? Are you going to wear less kind of glam outfits and maybe a bit more yeah, leather? Yeah. Yeah, we we want to go. Well, that we way wanted anyways. to do that anyways, yeah, because I mean, we figured that, that the glam thing was like it's been done better and it's been done before, and you know, how long is it going to continue? You know, so yeah. we're trying to think beyond mm -hmm. that. Yeah, we're trying to taper our image down into you know just a little more natural and less of the glittery stuff. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. think anybody would describe Do Dokken as a heavy metal band. You're probably more a powerful rock band with a good ear for a melody. Thank you. <laughs> that's a great way of describing well, that's what I thought, yeah. Couldn't have put it better. I worked long and hard thinking yeah. that one up. But yeah. if you need to, ca can you play the heavy metal stuff? Do you enjoy that side of things? Sure. There's that energy about a lot of the songs. But I think the key word's melody there. We, we try and stick melody on top of it. So that makes it more, yeah. I love that. Powerful rock. Well, that's certainly true of the new album, the Underlock and Key album. Yeah, we should. Write it down. You can use that if you wish for a small fee. Well, thank you. Thank uh -huh. you. How small? <laughs> Not too small, I don't think. Like a royalty. Yeah. But I think people that have heard your new album, the Underlock and Key album, will definitely pick up on the melody side and also the rock side, too. There's certainly some very heavy stuff on that. Right? Yeah, definitely. And like songs like Lightning Strikes, we're going to definitely play in the set. Right. I've already mentioned that uh, you've been touring in America with Twisted Sister. Now, the reports we had back here in, in our island fortress was that uh, the tour didn't go too well. There were very poor ticket sales, and it was, in fact, cancelled. Some of the dates were pulled. Is that true? Well, what they said was that uh, Dee's, uh, Dee had an operation. Or Dee Snyder, some, the two kind of a, yeah. yeah, he was sick or something, which actually uh, was ticket sales. So uh, it was all right, because uh, we, you know, we're going to go back there and tour, headline ourselves. And, uh, that gives us more markets to play in when we go back and headline, because we can hit the markets that we didn't hit with Twisted Sister faster. Right. Will you be playing any more support shows at all, or is this now the end of Dokken as a support band in America? Uh, can't say for sure, but I, I think... No, we're, we're headlining when we go Yeah, we, we plan on making it headlining from does now this, on. Does it really depend on how the Under Lock and Key album finally does in, well, in, it's in it's America? Well, it's doing well over there now, yeah. and I think we definitely are headlining. It just depends on what side of the venue is. I mean, yeah. that's, that's going to determine yeah. what's going to determine oh. that is the record yeah. sales between now and then. Right, and and all the promoters we talked to and over there and everything really liked the band a lot and felt that we were at, not at all at fault for the poor ticket sales. So we're going to mention that. Didn't want to do an embarrassing on TV. No, of course not. Of a million. So uh, so we're when we go back and headline, I think it'll be headlining from now on. Yeah. Bands like uh, Motley Crue and Rat came up at the same time, really, as Dokken. I suppose if you've been around the scene with, with people from those bands, yeah, yeah. You know, they seem to have happened all of a sudden. Well, they it, never had hair in their mouths. <laughs> that's true, they didn't. That didn't help. <laughs> if this would have happened to them, they would have never made it. <laughs> I think Dokken has built up gradually, stage by stage. You've got there slowly but surely. What, what's been the difference in the way that you've achieved your success? Uh, well, in Motley's case, of course, lack of image. No, 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 in our oh, case, as opposed to I mean, No, I meant in, in our case, as opposed to That's what I meant. People yeah. knew that. Oh, of course oh, okay. they did. Of course. Um, I didn't understand In Rad's case, <laughs> uh, I hit single round and round, yeah. which we didn't have. We've had, we've had minor <laughs> hits. You know, well, Dawkins gets a lot of radio playing states. 
I thought it's yeah. Cool. We get radio they play, but translated that. into as much record sales as a cigarette. But yeah, what they call a crossover hit, where you know even the AM stations are playing. We really haven't had that yet. Well, if you're getting radio play, perhaps it is to do with image. Obviously, Motley Crue and Rat put more emphasis on their image than Dokken have in the past. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. And see, we, we're not a gimmick image band. I mean, our image is going to be a long-term thing associated with our music. And uh, you know, Motley have a great image, but it's uh, you know it's not really that much to do with their music, you know. Rad, I think it's closer to their music, but it's like you said, they have a hit single, you know, which well, you know, which I hope we I hope we have off this record. Well, we can see what Doc and look like now in action. What sort of image you've got with the video? This is the Hunter, which is the track. I think it's the American single off yeah. the new album. Yeah, well, it's not the single actually. It's not the newest one, but it was our first off the under lock and key. Now, yeah. George, it. it it's pretty much an open secret that I think yourself and Don Dock and Dan always see eye to eye over everything. Plus, he's taller than I am. <laughs> well, that's one reason, I suppose. But um, it has been said that you don't really like each other. To put it bluntly, is that true? What sort of relationship no, have you got with Don? Completely Dawn? untrue. Who told you that? It's. I, I thought no, I'll, I'll, tell you that. That. I'll kill him. <laughs> I, I think it's, it's been said in the past. Uh, I think he's probably admitted it himself that you aren't the friendliest, friendliest man. We're not. What? Well, is, is this, is this well, one you, big you, happy family? In fact, we're having a big barbecue later on. Is, is this all new information to you? Yeah, no, it's, it's, you know, it was kind of blown out of proportion. Um, right. For whatever reason. Yeah. Pub and, pub and I think idea. on this, because since the last album, everybody's been really happy with the record, you know, amongst the band. And I mean, the, the morale's a lot better. I think a lot of that's changed. You know? Do you think you're on, more on the same wavelength as, as a unit now? That you, you're thinking more the same than you were in the past? Well, there's a certain chemistry, you know, in the band. Um, we all don't think the same way. I mean, if we did, it would be a pretty boring group. Um, you know, we, we all have our different points of view. Yeah, and we, we get along just as well as most bands I know. You well, know? This is the problem. So a lot of bands come out and say, oh, we're, 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 we're brothers and we really right. get along well. But a lot of it, I don't think it's really true, is it? No, of course not. Day? And... Oh, well, we're not saying that. Yeah, we're, we're not saying that, but, you know, we're <laughs> we're trying to disclaim a lot of the, you know, things I that mean, we've, as said. a band, we've accepted a certain rough spots that we have and we avoid them, you know, I mean, um, Jeff and I do most of the writing together, and Don makes his contributions on his own, and that's the way it works. And, and then oftentimes I, I will also collaborate with Don in moments, or Mick will, and uh, so, you know, I mean, really, all in all, it's, it's a very collaborative band, um, and like I said, since the last record, we've gotten along so much better, and it's, it's just... A lot of that was last year's. What happens is when, pe when people point something like that out, it'll fuel the fire and it'll maybe create a problem sometimes. You know? Oh, I say a problem that may not exist to begin with. Right. You know. Well, I, I don't think you've made any enemies for coming over to Europe anyway. It's been nice to see you here. Yeah, and, well, uh, it's great to be here. Good luck, finally. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.